Hello everyone, my name is The Partner and in this tutorial I'll teach you how to convert your HTML, CSS and JavaScript app to a .apk that is an Android app and, and iOS and uh, Windows. Alright, the secret to that is just to upload it to the website called PhoneGap and then the actual URL is build.phonegap.com Alright, now we have it. I'll quickly show you how to get things done here. If you've already built the site, um, the application, this is my application, my Ratchet application. Uh, if you've already built it, um, let me just open it so you'll see. I'll open with, um, with Chrome, my favorite Chrome. So if you have already built it, um, if you've taken my past tutorials, you know how to do this. So this is the mobile app my own so i don't know what yours look like so if you, or if you have already built this mobile app all you just have to do is visit build.phonegap.com sign up there is a sign up a link that usually appears here when you sign up you log in this is what your interface looks like and um you will see a link this is what the interface looks like and these are all the apps i've uh, uploaded here before um, for yours you just have to click on new app and then um, the first time you log in here and try to upload an app for the first time, you just see a simple um, button asking you to upload. Then you click and um, upload from your system. But then the next time it will happen, that, that's pretty simple. After uploading, it converts it into iOS, Android, and Windows app. After converting, then you can click on download. You click on any of them to download. So I can just click on, on Android, for instance. To download the Android version and as you can see it's downloading bottom left corner of my screen is downloading the Android version for me then when it downloads I can just quickly transfer this file to my phone and install it will run just like that I will transfer this file to my phone plug your phone to your system and copy open your phone's directly directory paste it and um, and run the app from your phone click on the app inside your phone and it will install okay that is quite simple now i want to quickly go over the next time you are trying to upload your next app if you try to upload your net if you design another app and try to upload your next app um phone gap requires that you you log you upload it to github first and then pull it from github to this place okay so let's see how we can upload to github first remember this is not phonegap.com it is build.phonegap.com that's what brings you here all right, so the first thing you want to do is download, um, you visit GitHub and create an account. There's a website called GitHub. It's like Facebook for developers. You understand, it's just amazing. So you visit GitHub and then look at what GitHub looks like. I've already registered and, um, and logged in. That's why I'm seeing this page. So if you visit, your page might be different, just asking you to create an account and sign up. So just do the account creation process, register, sign up, and um, you end up here. All right, there's usually a quick, the, a quick tutorial. You may want to take the tutorial or you skip it and take it later. So um, you just have to scroll down to this point where you have to uh, you scroll down to this point where you see create new repository. All right, here you can actually create, the, the your design might be different. So just look for create new repository and click on it and um, you create your repository here but then I want to do something else let us download an app on our system that will help us to quickly do this and very easily alright so you go to your app and say hey um, you go to your browser and look for an app a github um, I want you to see what I'm typing so I'm just going to search for github for github desktop for Windows, I'm using a Windows system, so depending on the system you're you're using, so we search for an app called GitHub for Desktop, and then there we are, desktop.github.com. You can visit it directly. So I'm going to click on this big head here, and um, right there, this is the application. It's just amazing. It's a way to use GitHub without ever coding anything in the command line. All right, so you just hit on download. It's about 110 megabytes. 
okay so it will first of all download the small file for you then download the bigger one so they have for mac and, and for windows i've already downloaded it and um, it's right there in my system so if you want to start it you will go to your your system and um, search for github for desktop all right look at it here i'll just click on it and it will start um look at the application here that's the application i want to reduce it so it will it can enter our screen all right look at the application the github for desktop application is very powerful and um, if we want to create a new repository from here what we'll do is simply open our folder open the dem folder remember um you have your this is my ratchet folder and um this is the folder where i have the the files okay so depending on the folder you have your application you will just have to drag that folder into your github application so i have this folder here this remember i don't need the full folder i just need this okay so i'll just drag my this folder into this guy here it's that simple so um it's asking me what the name of the what should they name the app i can just tell it hey name it uh, which name do what's the name of the famous king you know let us name it uh, um, okay kepler kepler mini all right just give your app whatever name you have your on your own and um, just for clarity i'm going to name it ratchet mini ratchet mini that's the name of the disk and um i'll click on create repository guess what will happen it will copy all the files and get them ready for me look at all the files in the, all those folders it has gotten them ready for me and i'll just have to commit so i'll click on the on the on the changes button and make sure i'm here then i'll just say hey my first upload or whatever you would have written i'm just crazy so i'll write crazy stuff my first upload no description uh, sample app for ratchet so it's first commit uh, whatever you want to write just make sure that you don't leave this guy empty at the end you just click on this commit to master and watch the magic happen remember um another way to do this is actually to start the command line and start um doing stuff like that see what it has what, what is happening here the next thing we want to do is to publish so you hit on publish and it's asking for a description a sample um ratchet app okay publish and that being sorted out um but what we can now do is to actually go to our website and uh, see we'll visit the github site our account on github just visit github.com i'm going to type github.com and um, visit it then copy that copy our link so we'll go to our list of repositories remember this guy ratchet mini look at it here on uh on github.com on our github account just be sure you're logged in you will see it among your repositories and then um, i'll just copy the, the url what we are looking for is the url i'll just copy the url and that's okay so with this url now we now have what we're looking for we go to phone gap build up phone gap that's it's asking you what is the url to the repo so we say hey we have it look at it here okay so we pull from git as you can see it's just fetching it has fetched it there's a file within and i i personally didn't add it's a, a phone gap um, file that um, i will use to describe the phone gap.config 
config.xml file in Chrome Grab. I didn't add it to my application. And um, you can add it to yours. I believe we added it in the other tutorials. All right. Um, now we have this sorted out. I'll have to name my app um, Great Ratchet Mini. Ratchet Mini. And um, my description uh, is sample tutorial. All right. Um, it's asking me for this because I don't have config.xml in my Ratchet. I just downloaded Ratchet and, and uploaded it directly. If I had it, it wouldn't ask me for this. So I'll now say, okay, while everything is sorted out, you, you just wait a little. And um, let's visit another tab of the same site. I'll just copy this. Copy. And uh, visit another tab. And say, hey, um, I'll paste, paste and go. You know the reason why we are visiting another tab? Because if you look at here, if you can observe, there is no button to say, hey, enter. If you, if you hit enter, it comes to the next line. There's no button to to click and submit. So which means it's using an Ajax request, an Ajax request to make sure that, hey, it submits. So I want to visit this page again just to be sure that it's submitted and um, here is it ready to build so I can rename my app the link has showed up I just visited the web page again in another tab and the uh, ready to build links have showed up so what I'll just do is basically and say um, let's just copy what we had here our ratchet mini is the same app on the other hand you can just refresh if you refresh you end up where we are so it depends on how you want to approach the situation as you can see after refresh I now have um, the links here so let's just continue what we have here a sample project tutorial app tutorial demo demo app all right now we have this what we will do is to simply click on ready to build we are ready to build. So as you can see, there is um, a loading icon here. The iOS version has failed because I need their I need their their store key or whatever. Then the Android version never usually fails. Then the Windows version they always work, but the iOS version usually has issues because I need to have their key. All right, and then. Once it's complete like this, it means we now have two apps at least. We have our Android and our Windows app. If I want my Android app, I will just click. Keep your eye on the bottom right of my screen. I'll just click the Android like we did before. And then it downloads. All right. So what if I edit my app? You just copy this to your phone and click on it inside your phone and install. You will see the app. And there's no way to demonstrate that here. What if I edit my app and say, hey, this is no longer Ratchet, the great Ratchet Mini. If I edit and save, how do you get it around again to get up? What you understand, to, what you understand is that uh, the uh, GitHub application, I edited that file, which is the index.html file. I edited this file. Then automatically, this GitHub application, it's listening to this this the entire folder so immediately i did that edit it produced it for me to commit i can say hey changed title and i'll click commit and uh, complete the commits i'll click sync it synchronizes with, with our files on github page and um, once this sync is complete we'll go to our phone gap page and um, Let's refresh this page. Okay, even without refreshing it, it's asking us update code. We'll click on update code, pull request. It already has this URL, so it will pull from PhoneGap all over again. After pulling from PhoneGap all over again, your repository has been updated and the build has been queued. It has rebuilt it for Android. So I can say, um, look at it here download the APK 
all right look at uh, ios no key selected and i look up for windows if you have a windows app you just click here and download and uh, but i like android so i'll just click on android and download all right um, this settings all these things you're seeing here is because my config.xml file is missing all right uh, so that's it if you wanted to change other settings um this is where you change them as mean you don't want this repository again you can um, create another all and stuff there are a whole lot of settings you can do you can have collaborators on your app and you have um, um plugins this is where the list of your plugins are all right so for each time you change your your github app listings and list is here you commit after committing you sync after syncing you come to your phone gap and um, update code after updating code you download again and install it on your phone so that's one way to do it the other way is to actually use the the android installed on your system uh, the android to do install on your system to to sdk install on your system to set it up all right but this is quite easy and simple and straightforward for me so this is what i use so thank you very much i hope this tutorial helped and see you in the next tutorial